Dear friends, I am grateful to the Chatham Courier for the opportunity to pass along a few thoughts during this evening's discussion, even though, as most of you know, I am homebound during recuperation from surgery. It is an honor to serve in my present term on the Township Committee and as Deputy Mayor, and I speak to you this evening of my desire to seek a second term, beginning with the June 6th primary. I'll start by saying that my husband Craig and I have lived in Chatham Township for nearly 30 years, having bought our starter home in 1990, where we raised our two kids and where we still live, incidentally. I take great pride in my service to Chatham Township and in the direction we are heading. It's impossible to be in one place for such a length of time without seeing some changes, of course. But what is remarkable about Chatham Township is how we continue to identify as a caring, closely knit community dedicated to civic and religious organizations, youth activities, and sports teams, and each other. This energetic spirit has led to the formation of countless newer groups, neighborhood associations, and coalitions beyond the scope of our local governing body, as it should. As a case in point, during the two years I served as Township Committee Liaison to our Board of Health, with our health officer as a guide, we undertook the formation of two outstanding and unique coalitions, Tri-Town 55 Plus, which proved to be the genesis of our Senior Rights Program, and the Madison Chatham Coalition, designed to raise awareness of the patterns and dangers of substance abuse among our high school students. Impassioned volunteer boards from across our communities working with paid professionals, the Township Committee has applauded the can-do attitude needed to put together initiatives that are truly changing lives. For many, many years in Chatham Township, we've managed to strike a balance between folks moving in to raise their families and families who have lived here for generations in what is among the most desirable places to live in the state, if not the entire region. In spite of the ongoing challenge of meeting the high cost of living in New Jersey, the return on investment in Chatham Township is visible everywhere we look, reflected in our parks and open space, in our public safety record, in our schools, and in our stable property values. A look at our township's annual budget appropriation reveals the rising cost of goods, services, and salaries, which we are able to meet year in and year out without increasing municipal taxes. This is because of forward-thinking administration and carefully ordered priorities. As a result, the budget continues to provide increased financial support where it means the most, to our emergency squad, our fire companies, and our senior senate center. <clears throat> Such stability at the administrative level is necessary for our 4,000 households to live with predictable tax rates and confidence in their township committee. It is not always easy, but it is worth making tough decisions to ensure that our focus remains on the greater good for township families. Integral to the stewardship of our tax dollars, the relationships we maintain with other towns to share services and improve communication with the companies that keep, it, keep us up and running, specifically professional services <coughs> such as our engineers and attorneys and our public utilities. I take personal pride in the dramatic improvement to the way we communicate with both our water and electric providers over these years for the betterment of our township. Before I close, I must address a matter that is on everyone's mind, the ongoing legal proceedings to address our township's constitutional obligation for affordable housing. The closed session nature of these discussions is not intended to foster uncertainty or discomfort in our residents, and none of us on Township Committee would voluntarily keep our residents in the dark. However, matters of litigation such as this demand confidentiality to allow the Township Committee to discuss and explore fully all options for resolution <coughs> to this litigation. Let me say this, as a committee member elected by you to look after the best interests of our community in the present and down the road, I do not take this burden lightly. With prudent counsel, we are continuing to look at all options and to discuss the matter from all angles. I understand that decisions we make now will impact our open space, our schools, and our infrastructure, not just in the near term, but for many years to come. Also, most
most important is to understand that there are scores of New Jersey towns which have yet to reach settlements on behalf of their residents. The process is an ongoing one because each community is different regarding employment opportunities, public transportation, and available acreage. Hastening towards a settlement is a double-edged sword, especially after the arduous discussions and progress made to this point. This is an important time for our township. It's important to me to continue this process so earnestly begun in 2015 and important to families young and old who cherish this community as I do. I have referred to stability and balance several times in the last few minutes. Never in our township have these two factors been more valuable. I look forward to providing this in the years ahead as I continue with your support my dedication to serving our hometown. I thank you for your time and I thank the Chatham Courier for the flexibility to address you in this manner. I wish you a productive evening and best regards all around.